Hi, my name is Marvin Colgen and I'm the developer of Bulletproof FTP and I'm going to go ahead and show you now how to enter your registration code into the software after purchasing it. This will turn the currently installed uh, demo version into the full-fledged version and there's no need to change anything. So what we're going to do is going to go ahead and run Bulletproof FTP server and you'll see that we get this message saying that our evaluation period is over. We're going to go ahead and click OK and that's going to automatically load up an Internet Explorer and point it to the buy now page. But since we've already purchased it, we're going to go ahead and close this down and we're going to load up our email here. Uh, in our email we've got our, our receipt here from Digital Candle which contains our purchase information because I've already actually ran through the purchase process through here. And we're going to view this email and we're going to scroll down. And as you can see we got the information regarding the purchase, the receipt, and if we keep on going down here we're going to have this section here that says your registration code or license. Inside this text here is our actual uh, registration code. It exists as four different lines, each of them have varying characters. The first three have 50 characters and the last one have 23. So to enter this registration, we're going to go ahead and organize, it, so organize our windows here so we can see everything at the same time. So right now I'm going to go ahead and uh, double click this so we can make our inbox here a little bit smaller. And just to make sure we can see all four lines. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on Start, then Programs. And then inside the Bulletproof FTP server group, we've got an option here that says Activate Registration. We're going to click on that and sometimes in different environments we're going to get a different error message depending on whether it's able to see the current installed version or not. In this case it couldn't see it so we're going to go ahead and tell it where Bulletproof is actually installed at. So it defaults to our programs files directory here and I know it was installed to BPFTP server. So we're going to click OK and now we've got the applet up here that shows our spots for the line 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now, as we're going to do this here, we're going to flip back to the, our email, and we're going to go ahead and select the whole line of text here. We're making sure not to select anything before or after the values, so just the actual line that we want. So using our right mouse button here, we're going to select Copy. That's going to put it to our clipboard, and we're going to click on the registration applet again here. Click in the line 1, right-click, select Paste, and we can see that we're 50 characters on line 1. We're going to do that same operation for line 2, line 3, and line 4, each time confirming the number of characters entered. I'm going to flip back to my email, right-click, copy, go back to the bulletproof registration, click in line 2, right-click, select paste, 50 characters. We're going to do that with line 3 here, Again, confirming number of characters. Here on line four, finally. Paying special note here that it's not 50 characters, it's going to be a variable number of characters. Characters 23, characters 23. So we know we've entered our registration code correctly now. We can make sure of that by what I do is, is actually look at the first couple characters and the last couple characters and compare the copy and paste. 09, 09, IV, IV, and on through it, making sure that both of them are correct. Now we're going to click Install Registration Code, and what that's going to do is it's going to go ahead and place the registration code into the program. We're going to close down the applet, minimize our inbox, and launch Bulletproof FTP Server. Now it's loaded, and we're going to go ahead and select Help and About, and we can see that it is now registered. It no longer says unregistered, it says who it's registered to and the company name. And that concludes how to actually enter your registration code into Bulletproof FTP server.